So, we still got the blue power. We still got a reeler on the front. Which means we still got a pump on the back. But this time we connect it to the nurse tank. That's kind of what the video is going to be about. And because, hold up a minute, I forgot the name. As Ben at Ben's Farming Videos requested it, we're going to have a look around this tractor, the T7270 Blue Power as well. So we'll start by having a look around it, sort of give you an idea of what it is and how it differs to mine. So, that sounds like a tanker, maybe not a tanker. Obviously the biggest difference, it's blue. More to the point, it's the Blue Power Edition, uh, Maserati Blue, nice colour. Um, so, spec wise, we are front linkage, front PTO. Say, uh, well, front linkage is the same as mine, set aim rating on it. It's a uh, four ton, is it four ton linkage? Five ton linkage, five ton linkage, sorry. Uh, same as mine, got the two hydraulic services at the front. This has the addition of a D plug and a trailer socket plug on the front. We've got the lock off for it there. Uh, this one has a front PTO. Front suspension, that is exactly the same as on mine. Um, it's halogen light package uh, in the bonnet, uh, but LED spotlights on the uh, on the roof. Same 6.7 litre um, FBT engine under the bonnet. Although this one is strangled to death with all the emissions and the ad blue, which funnily enough also means you lose tank capacity. I'm pretty convinced that mine actually has a bigger tank capacity than this. Uh, tire wise, um, basically the newer version of what I've got on mine, uh, 660 30 front uh, Zio bibs and uh, 710 60 42 rear. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I never spotted that. So no, I'm wrong on this. The front are exactly as what, what I've got on, on mine. The Zio bibs. But the rears are like the updated versions. The Axio bibs. Um, so the fronts, they are a VF tyre. And the backs are also a VF but the backs have the Michelin Ultraflex technology, high traction and are air system ready. I'd like to say I knew what all that was about, but I don't. <laughs> so the cab frame, that's that again, is exactly the same as mine, um, but you've got the upgraded, the upgraded mirrors, so we've got wide angle mirrors. Electric and heated, the same as mine. Bar axles on it. The only difference is, is they put a bright yellow thing on there for some reason. Come around the back, rear linking set up. Um, hold up. I think he's just actually trying to put me off new video. So the hitch is pretty much identical, but the newer version it has a pin that goes through the hitch as opposed to mine that has like a tab at the back to lock it in. Uh, genuine New Orleans top link, mine's the, what's the name one? They've changed position of where they put the drawbar. Um, I prefer it like on mine, it's on the side. A couple of additions I really like on the back of this. Um, on mine, the top link and the hitch takes up a spool so if you need three or four spools you've got to disconnect the, the top link and possibly the hitch this is a separate uh, outlet for top link and the hitch 
on a separate button so whereas like mine's got four spools but two of them are taken up with the hitch and the top link this has four spools and the hitch and the top link are separate power beyond block on it same as I've got mine ABS that's something I don't have because mine being a bit older obviously the ISA bus go around the other side absolutely <laughs> Well, there is much to show on the other side. That's all slight, slightly different to mine. Obviously, that's all your after treatment with all your ab blue in there. Um, it does look like it's got a smaller battery. See, that on mine is battery to about here, exhaust comes out here. Um, that's where the mid-mount valve, valve sits, so that you basically set aim as mine. I can use my rear air support balls and my front linkage and front balls together because they're two separate systems, or I can use that joystick to run the rear. Uh, yeah, there's not that much difference really on this side. So, go have a look in the cab now. It's a nice looking tractor. It is a really nice looking tractor. Just has a has a presence. So there are some <laughs> I know when I first got that I seemed to slate it, but yeah. Oh there is good points and bad points in here. Um, passenger seat is the same, but it has these little things on, which are great for, so basically with mine, I can't really stick anything on here unless I'm stationary, because it will F off. Whereas that, and that will sit there all day perfectly happy. Um, that's slightly different, but pretty much the set aim. Oh, but no, it's a lot, it's a lot thinner. That's the same as it in mine. Um, does have a sunroof. I haven't really had the sunroof open on this one, purely because, well, there's nothing to listen to. Oh, that blue ruined everything, didn't it, really? So, like all your air vents, they're, they're a different style, but they're all in the same place. Um, shuttle's the same. Um, like I said, the dash. Now, I know I slate the dash, but I do have good reason for it. Um, <clears throat> so, like, my dash, if we'll just see if we can find a picture of that. So that that bottom screen, so that's quite a big, big square uh, screen. Well, that's what you've got on here, and the prime easiest way to show it is like if I click that button, which will show me what the spools are doing. And that comes up on that top one, but it shows me I've got to click for each spool. On mine, click the spools and it shows me all the rear spools, or I click it again and shows me all the all the front spools. It's it's just showing more information and clearer, easier to see. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad dash. It's just kind of a feel. It's just a bit dated. <clears throat> um, armrest so that is pretty much identical as what I've got on the Puma but it, it's just over here I've got used to that to be fair um, 
it's probably a little bit nicer place in, in the Puma. Spools are, they're in a great place. I'm, yeah, the joystick as well, can't really fault it. All the, everything is actually to hand. Still say, well, even this now using it, I've got to, I've got to say, I do prefer the way the put Puma, you just push it forwards to go faster. Whereas this, you've got to keep sort of nudging it up. I do prefer that sort of, you can just bring it back a little bit or push it forwards a little bit. Whereas that, you've got to nudge it. And I know, I know, pretty much every other CVT is the same as that. Nudge it to go on or come back. But I. I prefer the Puma setup. Um, this, it, I still say it's quite wide. I prefer the Puma. You just drop your hands on, but at the same time, this is more. You can do it by feel rather than having to look. Thank you, now. I don't know whether I set edit or not, but yeah, like because all the buttons are different shapes, you can sort. You don't need to double check make sure your fingers on the right right button because like on my puma they're all the same shape i mean you get used to where you, you think your thumbs your thumb is but there is there's times you get it wrong so puma that's got like two hand throttles one for the hand throttle and one to drag it back so it doesn't over rev difference that that's on a on a little knob so that's pretty much no different <coughs> PTOs I'm gonna say they are they are in the wrong place they are I mean if you look sort of almost in line with the back of the sea they I think they should have been brought up here so they are where you need them I'm not arguing on that I'm that is my opinion that I'm pretty concerned I'm yeah you know where I'm coming from so there's a bit more in the roof of the, this one and it's got the full climate control I do miss having the full climate control climate control I had that in the uh, in the Massey uh, obviously it's space there you can take them out and put like your two way radio in in it's a bit more yeah, do do like that, having a bit, bit more use up there and having uh, power socket up there, so there's power supply up there to go oh, into as well. Oh, this this has, oof, dear, no. Mirror for your hitch. I keep forgetting about it, so I've never, <laughs> never used it. Oh, leather steering wheel. Yeah, that's quite nice. Do like a leather steering wheel. So, oh, screen, I suppose. Screen is, is pretty much no different, just bigger than what I've got on the Puma, which is a lot better, but you click on the button, that is pretty much the same same screen. Go into your, all your remotes. You set your flows, front, rear, which spool you want priority timers which one you want to lock out ice boss same as i've got in, in mine no different so that's kind of the point i would was gonna say i mean like my puma she's 2009 model and she was kind of when when they come out that was kind of wow this is a game changer but this New Holland and the case is the same top to like 23 plate it's still yes they've done a few tweaks in better lighting system which yeah the light, lighting on my view when I first got it was shocking uh, so yeah upgraded to some LEDs and some better quality lights restyled the bonnet you know better mirrors which a lot of that will be um, forced by le legislation but the, the 
bones of it is no different. Oh, don't you just love the British summertime? It has been cold all day to the point that I thought it wasn't quite enough. And now it is absolutely storming it down. So I am, uh, well, nearly back to Ormskirk, which can mean only one thing. My time with the T7 has come to an end. Um, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed having it, to be fair. But at the same point, I'm... I'm looking to get forward to get back my... Uh, get, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, like? Like, you know what I mean? I thought you don't. I'm looking forward to getting my Puma back, being back in my own tractor. Um, yeah. No everything is, comfort levels, I've got, you know, I've missed having any tools on here. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we are going to go hand this back and pick up the Puma, who hopefully has... I don't think she's got more PTO, PTO gears, she just has now a wide, more usable range of PTO speeds. Uh, they've also blit had the brakes up for me, and there also should be some parts in my cap for a future video. Which I'm thinking, maybe I should have just got them to do it, but hey ho, <laughs> we'll find out whether it was, it was a mistake or not in the, hopefully in the near future. Ah, yeah, edge got around here. So, yeah, we'll pick this up when we get to the depot. I'm kind of hoping my tracks out, we can have a little look, quick look. Uh, side by side because time will be on when I get there and they're probably wanting to shut the shop so that's the two side by side and you see what I mean by there ain't a great deal of difference between them right get it checked over get fired up got wife on wedding anniversary present I'm only a few days late so we're not doing too bad so uh, yeah get her home So, nicely had the Puma back at last. Um, yeah, that, that, that's my box of things to do. So, a lot I would just point out, well, because it sounded like I was slagging that T7 off, and I just wanted to show you the difference. So, as you remember, the dash was here on the T7. Well, that's just, that's actually a cord cubby box on the Puma, and the dash, is all up there so it's clear and easy to read and like I was saying um, try and point it out with the spools click spools on there and it shows me all four of my rear spools I know what they're all doing uh, linkage from PTO it, it shows a lot more with having to press the buttons a lot less so you can set that and take take the um, hours off there and put the yeah just shows so much more the joystick was going on about hand sits there lovely on that it just sits there. You're not holding on to it. it. You just drop your hand on it and everything's there. That, it's not here, it's there. It's right at your fingertips for all your four wheel drive, diff locks, auto PTOs, um, front or rear for the mid-mount valve um, gearbox settings your 
engine speed memories, it's all there at the fingertips. Well, that's your, your rear linkage as well. See, in New Holland it was up here, whereas it's all, it's all fingertips. PTO, it's there. Easy to flick on, there is an issue. Literally, bump it. Your hand will be in this vicinity, whereas in New Holland it was back here. See, it wasn't moaning in it, it was a genuine kind of thing. So, anyway. <laughs> Puma minus points, I miss it. I know most Pumas don't but do, but mine don't. I am missing that exhaust brake. Apart from then, I think she'd sound awesome with the, with the uh, exhaust brake on. She's definitely a minus point on that. Okay, New Orleans controller. There was a little bit more on it. Uh, I've only got one spool that had two spools. There's a couple of other, other little extra bits that I, I don't have on this. And he, even if it was the like for like equivalent, it still wouldn't. That hasn't, that's only very recently changed. Um, the other point, heat controls are up. Now this was something that was updated on the next generation of the Pumas and the New Orleans. They were both the same. Um, but whoever decided to put heater controls there, just why? They, they, they kind of did want a bit of a smack around the back of the head for that one. That was a stupid place to put it. And of course, my Puma doesn't have the uh, climate control. I know it's not a big thing. I've got aircon. It's just having to tweak it up and down through the day. Whereas climate control, I am very big on that when I've got it to what I would consider comfortable for how I like the cab, it's very rare I'll touch anything, just leave it alone and it's spot on uh, the other thing I do quite like it's different between Case and New Orleans Case have always had a rubber grip whereas New Orleans have always been a metal um, pedals they are just a bit more grippy and a bit nicer so that's it. I've, I've slagged off my own tractor now. I've made a couple of the good points as well. And we're going to call that at the end of the video. So we've nearly got it back. So as always, don't forget to give the video an actually clean thumb up for once. It won't last. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't enjoyed it, don't forget to give, give the video a, well, we'll call it a grubby thumbs up. Um, comment sections down below. Um, if you want to say hi to either me or any of the other guys that uh, comment on the channel, remember to be e banter's good, being rude is not. Remember that. Don't speak to somebody in the comment section how you wouldn't speak to them face to face. Not that I've had any problems, I'm just putting it out there. Be nice in the comment sections, but have a laugh and have some banter with it. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, it costs you nothing, means you get notifications of when the videos come up. And we are getting so close to 10,000 subscribers, it really, really would have, would be nice to hit it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. As always, stay, well, stay safe, stay well, look after yourselves, and more importantly, don't forget to look after each other as well. We'll see you on the next one.